I'm Amanda, a naturopath and a physical therapist, and I specialize in Pilates for both fitness and for rehabilitation. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new. Today, I'm super excited because I have a lovely, relaxing roll down bar routine. We are going to release tension from, gosh, even from your scalp, okay? <laughs> from your scalp, your face, your neck, your shoulders, your upper back, your mid back, your low back. We're just gonna let it all go, let go of the worries of the day, and we're gonna settle in, and it's gonna feel amazing. So at the end of this workout, I want you to have that same feeling like after you've had a full body massage, or you've been sitting in a sauna or a hot tub, just that completely released you know, feeling where you remember, oh yeah, this is what it feels like to let go of the tension that I carry around all the time, and I'm so used to carrying it around, I don't even know I'm carrying it around anymore. So that's our goal for today. The entire routine is gonna be done with a roll down bar. So perhaps you have access to a roll down bar like mine on a piece of equipment, a half Cadillac or a Cadillac, maybe you have a tower system. Um, I don't know if they actually still manufacture these, but at some point, I know they were selling Pilates sticks. I have some clients that have those. That will work as well. But you can even fashion your own roll-down bar pretty easily and inexpensively. If you attach hooks into a couple of studs on your wall, add springs and a bell rod, you've got a bar and you can do this routine. For those that have a difficult time holding on to the bar for a long period of time, or perhaps if you have a lot of tightness and it's just really too much of a pull for you, I recommend wrapping your bar with just a simple um, piece of um, shelf liner. This is just sticky shelf liner. Or you can get a pair of gloves that have a textured or sticky surface just to help you grab on. And you might want to remove rings. This is not a great routine to do right after you've put lotion on your hands. <laughs> So if you've done that, maybe go wash your hands first or add your shelf liner. And that's it. You just need a roll down bar and maybe a bottle of water or even, you know, maybe some like herbal tea. Doesn't that sound lovely? And I will see you in just a moment. <laughs> from up above. We're going to hold the bar with our palms facing down, hands nice and wide. So go ahead and get a wide grasp here. And we'll stretch the legs out to the width of your mat, maybe slightly wider. If you're against a wall, go ahead and bring your feet flush to the wall. Or if you're on equipment like me, just set them onto your metal uprights. And just hold here. I want you to start to rock your weight back and forth and get your weight nice and even on your sit bones. At this point in time, whether you're able to sit straight with the legs straight as well or not, don't worry about it. <laughs> Go ahead and bend the knees. Intentionally put a bend in the knees, rock back and forth, and let's start to stack up through the spine. And I want you to imagine the bones of your spine as little wooden toy blocks. And you're going to stack them as perfectly, one on top of the other, as you possibly can, making the tallest tower that you can make. Keeping the length in the spine, we're going to dive forward over the legs. So we'll lead with the crown of the head. Exhale, dive forward, and just sort of hang on your bar here. It doesn't matter where your bar, hands, and arms end up. Just start to curve and curl forward, draw up through the tummy, and hang. Like a rag doll here, but a supported rag doll from the abdominals. Take a full breath. We're going to begin to stack back up through the spine. So imagining again that you're stacking those wooden toy blocks and getting your tower as tall to the ceiling as you possibly can. And as you do this, we're taking care that the shoulders stay down from the ears and that we lengthen through the back of the neck instead of lifting the chin. Again, exhale, dive forward. Settle in. And if you're able to, begin to straighten the legs a little bit more. Maybe they can go all the way straight, maybe they don't. Just do what's comfortable for your body. And then let's take another breath and stack back up nice and tall. 
And we're going to do that one more time, diving forward with an exhale. And then just pause here. Go ahead and wiggle out your jaws. You can stick out the tongue if you need to. You can close the eyes. Try to soften the muscles of the face. And staying rounded, we're going to take our body all the way back down to the mat. So instead of stacking our tower, we're going to settle back down and in, little by little. So we set each toy block down into the mat separately. And just find your way down and then relax here. So we keep some intention in the belly. Okay, we have a little bit of contraction happening through the stomach, but we're letting go through the upper body. The chin draws down and in, the bar pulls the arms away from you. Just relax and let go. So sometimes we think we're letting go and we could let go more. So bring some awareness that the bar is really pulling the arms away from your shoulders, creating length through the upper body. In order to roll up and forward over the legs, using the abdominals, we'll keep the arms straight. Breathe in to draw the chin to chest, and now take your time. So instead of toy blocks, imagine your spine as a piece of masking tape on a cement floor that you're peeling up little by little. And then again, dive forward and just hang. Hold here, shake out the head, release the neck and then a full breath back down into your mat. So we're taking out our tall seated position and staying in that long seated curve shape the whole time. Once you've settled down, again, check in and release and relax the upper body, and then let's turn the head to one side. You can readjust it as you need to, but you're looking for a deeper stretch down the opposite, neck, shoulder, arm. It might be the whole length, or it might just be one little part of the chain. And all are just fine. Where you feel that tightness, visualize sending your breath into that area and releasing and melting it. We'll come back to center with the head and go the other way. So again, you can reposition as needed so that you can find a little bit more release down the opposite side. Breathe. Think about melting and releasing any blockages or restrictions that you feel. And then gently bring the head back to center so we can curl up and over the legs. Inhale, chin to chest. Peeling up that masking tape of a spine bit by bit. Take your time so you can feel the stomach working. Dive forward and relax. We're going to stay curved, but we're going to start to build a little bit of heat in the body. And we're going to do our roll down and roll up a little bit more quickly. So we'll take a full breath and melt it down. And now we're going to quicken our tempo. We're going to inhale and exhale up and over. Inhale and exhale back down. Still keeping the arms long, the shoulders drop down from the ears, and still articulating through the spine. But again, we're just gonna to begin to build a little bit of heat here. Try not to move so quickly that you start to feel dizzy, or have a little bit of lightheadedness. And we're gonna try it a few more times, keep going. Massage through that spine on the way up and the way down. You're welcome to close the eyes if you prefer. Last time here, and we're gonna finish down on the mat. Go ahead and take it all the way down and settle in. With the arms straight, we will inhale and begin to lower the bar towards the body and exhale back up. Take care that you do not break at the wrist. We don't want to bend or do anything funky or wonky at the wrist joints. Keep them nice and long as if you had steel cuffs around your wrist and they are not able to bend. Keep going with the arms. Again, this is a nice and easy and relaxing routine 
It's okay if you don't use all of your strength for these movements. Take it to a comfortable range where you can maintain good form and we don't allow any tension to creep back into the neck and shoulders. And hold here. From here, we're gonna to start to draw small circles getting into our obliques. So as we inhale, we will lift a bit towards the right, feel it in your right side, Keep your circle low so the small of the back is still down on the mat. Find your way to the left and then settle back down and in. So it's a little bit like around the world. We're going to come to the left first now. You can begin to flow with your breath. Just keep the whole thing low enough to the mat that you can feel your sides one at a time and still drawing deep into the belly as you hollow it out. For Extra credit here, go ahead and lift through the pelvic floor as well, providing even more internal support to the body. All the while, let that bar pull your arms long away from you, releasing at the shoulders and the elbows and the wrist. And settle down, relax here. We will inhale and shrug the shoulders up to the ears, and then exhale, let it go. Inhale, shrug, create a little tension. Exhale, completely let it go. Last time. And let's start to roll up and forward. Inhale, chin to chest. Dive it forward again. Hanging. Soften through the face. You can shake out the head. And then let's stack back up through the spine to a tall seated position. Good. Release the hands if they need a little break. You can circle out the wrist. We're going to um, stay nice and lifted through our spine. And again, if you need to have the knees bent or place a support underneath them, totally okay. Without rounding or losing this beautiful tall tower, we're going to inhale to start to lower the bar from here and exhale back up. And just like before, we want to keep a nice long line through the wrist. Inhale to lower. Exhale to lift. Keep going. Now, inhale, round back onto the tailbone. Scoop and hollow the belly. Check in with the muscles of the face and the neck. See if you can release any tension, even if it's just 5 or 10%. Just release. Put that tension and power into your stomach. Take an inhale here and exhale, begin to lower the bar until you feel it in your abdominals. Inhale, back up. Exhale, down. Again, remember to honor your body. I remember our goal is to feel like we had a massage, maybe from the inside out. When we finish our routine, we don't want to create aches and pains. We want to relieve them. Hold here. Melt down um, about halfway, three quarters of the way to a place where you can maintain it. Shoulders relaxed. Soften through the neck. Wiggle out the jaws if you need to. Take another inhale. Exhale, pull the bar into the chest, elbows wide. And we're coming to like a high wide row here. So you feel some work through the mid back. Again, keep it comfortable. Keep the upper, upper body, meaning the face and the neck, as soft as possible and start to work closer to the trunk of the body. One more time. Melt down and relax into the table. We're gonna come into a supported fish pose. So if you haven't done this before, you might wanna watch one first. It makes some people a little bit nervous when they first try this. I will say this should be very comfortable on your head and neck. There should be no pain. If you have a sensitive neck or some neck pathology going on, maybe you want to abstain from this one. You're going to try it with me. We're going to bring our legs together in the center of the table, point the toes. And what I like to do is lift up off the mat a little bit and then dive back onto the crown of my head. So again, there is no discomfort in my neck whatsoever. I puff my chest to the ceiling, get a little bit of extension, draw the tummy in, and let the bar pull my arms away from me. 
And then to release out of it, I slightly lift up again and I come down. And I may have been over exaggerating the lift so you could see it. But what I do is lift up and back, settle in. Try to rest here. Step up through the tummy, the inner thighs are together, the legs are long and pointed. And then up and out and release. And try it one more time. Puff the chest. It's almost like you're diving back off the diving board into the swimming pool. And then relax and release. And now let's roll up long over the legs, but keep them together and pointed. Drop the shoulders down. Move slowly enough that you feel the stomach working. And fold forward and rest, climb back up through the spine, and lifting up, again, release the hands here if you need to, and we're gonna change our grasp so that we're holding the bar underhanded. Can you hear all these cracks and pops? <laughs> That's me, guys, I got all this lovely distraction forces that released a lot of tension. Okay, we'll keep the legs together, but go ahead and roll. we're gonna do what I call edging the feet. So you're gonna dorsi flex and pull them back towards you and then try to soften just at the toes. So you can imagine, or maybe you are against a wall, that if you had a wall in front of you, everything would be nice and flat, like you're standing on the wall in front of you. So lift up, even if, even if you have to bend the knees, get that height through the spine, nice tight tummy, and then a wide underhanded grasp. And we're gonna, again, take our time melting down. So it might be two or three breaths. We don't wanna plop down to the mat, just control it. And then once more, come down and rest, like you're gonna take a little nap, or you're gonna lie here and meditate. We'll keep the lower body active. So we're drawing in some more muscles from compared, as compared to earlier in class. We have the tummy tight, we're lifting through pelvic floor, but now we also have the legs zipped together and the feet edged. So from the waist down, we're working, and then up above in our upper body, we're releasing and letting go. Go ahead and take an inhale here and then sigh it out. So we inhale through the nose and, and one more time, inhale, Side out. <sighs> We're going to inhale and drop chin to chest and just lift off of the mat a small amount. Maybe the tops of the shoulder blades clear, maybe the shoulder blades clear, but make it really intense or low to the ground. And then as you exhale, we're going to pulse up an inch or two to feel that stomach and then inhale back down an inch or two. So it is very small, it's very intense, and it's slow. Exhale up. Even though this should be really hard for your core, go ahead and see if you can start to soften and relax the face, neck, and shoulders. Almost there. Keep going, just a few more here. I don't want you to feel any discomfort in the back. Keep the tummy nice and tight. We're gonna do one more and then lay back down Keep the legs active, the tummy active, rest the upper body, and go ahead and turn the head to one side. So we did this earlier in class where you find a stretch, a deeper stretch down one side of the body, the opposite side from where you're turning. But it might feel different. Now with a different hand grip, you can get different stretches. It can be a different location, more or less intense. Just breathe into it. You start to feel some neural symptoms, some tingling or numbness. I'm okay with feeling a little bit of that, but if it gets really intense, then go ahead and ease out of the stretch. The more intense your stretch is, the slower you want to come out of it so you don't shock the body. We'll bring the head back through center, go the other way. And again, the more you can give your arms over, like you're surrendering them to the bar, the more release and stretch you'll get. And that's the goal. So check in. If you think you're letting go, see if perhaps you have any more. You can let go just a little bit more. Take 
Take another breath here, in through the nose, out through nose or mouth. Come back to center with the head. Again, inhale the shoulders to the ears. Exhale, let it go. Two more times with your breath, keeping the back of the neck nice and long. And peeling up, we're gonna stack the body nice and tall this time. So refrain from diving forward and just lift up really beautifully. Keeping an underhand grasp, we're gonna bring the hands a bit more narrow so that they're in line with the shoulders or just slightly wider than the shoulders. We're gonna round back about halfway with your inhale and then with your exhale, pull the elbows in narrow to the body, perhaps tapping down to the mat, but it's not necessary, and inhaling out. So as you pull them in narrow to the body, squeeze through that mid back, keep drawing the belly button into the spine and softening through the face, through the neck, even the throat. See if you can let your throat begin to expand. Smooth the creases on your forehead. And a couple more pulls here. Exhale, draw it in, and inhale back out. Last time. Holding here and melt down into the table or your mat. Keep the legs glued together, pelvic floor lifted, tummy drawn in, and let the bar pull the arms far away from you. And let's roll up here really slowly, so maybe two or three breaths. Inhale, draw chin to chest, and keep drawing the belly in. Take your time, relax the face, let the arms get pulled. We're gonna stack up nice and tall, make this intense. You'll likely get some shaking if you're going slow enough, and that's a good thing. That means we're getting stronger as we work. And look nice and tall. Just because we're having a relaxing class and releasing tension, we still want to get stronger. Good, all right. From here, we're gonna flip our palms back down. So we have a um, overhand grasp, and we're gonna crisscross them. So I'm just making like a little X right in the center of my bar, and I'm doing that so I can get my hands on either side of midline. We're gonna take the right leg open to the edge of your mat or slightly wider. The left leg's gonna crisscross on top, and then we're gonna bring your left hand behind your head. So we're gonna roll now for the obliques, and you'll get a little bit deeper stretch and lengthening as long as you're able to relax into the bar on your right arm. What I want you to watch out for is that you don't try to bend the right elbow, lift the right shoulder, or let this left arm creep across. We want to keep everything really open and relaxed. You're going to roll as if you were still facing forward, like all the other rolls we did. We just have the legs on the diagonal, and that's going to start to draw more into the obliques. You're going to melt down, and I should say, if crossing the legs feels like too much, if it starts to strain something, then just set the legs next to each other, but to one side. And then settle all the way down and let the bar pull that right arm. It should be a bit more intense than when we had both arms connected. Try to relax, try to let go, try to soften into any discomfort that you're feeling. We don't want pain, but it's okay if it's really intense. And then especially on the way up, we wanna make sure that the right arm stays straight, the right shoulder stays long from the ear, and the left elbow wide. Go ahead and inhale, chin to chest. We're gonna to start to roll straight up. Don't let the arms assist you, make the stomach do it. And stack up. So we've got our, our wooden toy blocks back in place here. And then we're going to melt down, hollow out, curve the spine, relax through the jaws, face, melt down, release, and breathe. Again, let the bar pull that arm away from you, like it's trying to pull your arm out of its shoulder socket. Up and forward, inhale, lifting from the upper abdominals, just keeping that hand behind the head nice and light and the elbow wide. Stacking up. We're going to come down one more time on this side. Go ahead and roll back. And we're going to add a side stretch. 
So we'll take this left arm and reach overhead. So if you're on a table like me, you might be able to round over and even grab the edge. But even if you're lying on the floor or on a mat, just go ahead and draw your body into kind of that side bending shape and reach the arm overhead. So as we let the bar pull this right arm, our goal is to get the hands as far away from one another as possible. And then also finding a stretch in the left side body which could come from the shoulder, armpit, side, hip, down the leg. It could be anywhere along that part of the body, uh, just wherever you are tightest is where you're going to feel it most intensely or first. You may find as you breathe, it releases and opens that your stretch changes, either location, intensity, it's totally normal and expected. From here, slowly find your way back to the center of the table with the hand behind the head. Let the bar really pull the right arm away from you, left elbow wide. We're going to curl up and we're going to round forward, straight forward, kind of into that empty space in front of us. You can let the left elbow curl down and just kind of hang on that right arm. This should deepen the stretch down that left leg, either through the hamstring or on the outside of the leg the tensor fascia lata, the IT band. And then tight stomach, we'll round back up and see if you can get even taller than when we started those rolls. Just lift up out of your waist and check in with the muscles of the face and the neck. And let's switch and try the next side. So the left leg opens, right leg can set next to it or for a little bit more intensity cross over. Just make your little X, your little crisscross on the bar, and then we'll release the right hand, bring it behind the head with the elbow wide, keeping the shoulder squared off to the bars or the wall in front of you, and begin to melt down bit by bit, taking care that you keep the upper body nice and organized and soft. And then let the bar pull that left side. Go ahead and close your eyes. And just visualize tension and tightness leaving your body. It is not welcome here anymore. Coming up and forward, inhale chin to chest and peeling up, rounding up, and then stacking nice and tall through the spine, getting as much height as possible. And we'll do it again. So just melt down bit by bit. Make the belly control your descent. We're working those abdominals eccentrically as we lower down. And settle into the mat and then let the arm get pulled like a, like a piece of taffy. Let it get stretched away from you. And let's find your way up and forward, sitting nice and tall again. Use the abdominals to lift you up. And we'll come down and we'll add our side stretch. So melt it down, take your time. There's no hurry. And then we'll take that right arm overhead. And again, you might just kind of scooch into that shape. Perhaps you've got something you can hold on to. I'm able to grab the edge of the table. And then send the hands in opposite directions. So it's like the the wings of a bird, your wingspan, expanding and expanding, lengthening. Breathe into your side body stretch. Open up the right side of your inhale like an accordion opening. Breathe space into your body. Start to find your way back to the center of the mat. Again, if this is intense, just honor that. Come out gently and slowly. And we're gonna peel up and forward. And once more, we're gonna hang, almost like we're diving straight forward into that empty space next to your legs. And let the elbow fold down and in, but we're still just light underneath the hand. We're not cranking on it. And then we're gonna round back up, lifting up nice and tall. <sighs> Okay, we're gonna spin around now. We're gonna try a few more things. 
we'll come on to the back. And we're gonna line up just underneath the bar. Make sure that you're supported. We'll keep the feet hip distance apart in neutral. We're gonna grab our bar. And then again, taking care that the wrist do not break or bend. We will exhale and just start to lower the bar down towards the body and inhale back up. Keeping the belly zipped up and in, keeping the shoulder blades like they're, it's almost like they're sliding down your back into imaginary back pockets. So you had your blue jeans on, you've got your back pockets, you're gonna slide those shoulder blades down and put them into your back pockets, but you're doing it through the entire range of motion here. Sometimes it's easier, we think about it in one direction, and then as the arms come up, we let them creep back up. We want to keep them in their pockets. Good. Relax your bar. Go ahead and set the arms down by your sides. Walk the heels in so they're somewhat close to your bottom, not all the way in. And we're going to bridge. So imprinting that low back, hollow the belly out, press through the heels. We want more weight in the heels to activate the hamstrings and then climbing up the spine until the weight is on the mid-back. We're not coming up and puffing the chest and back bending and putting pressure on the neck. We're staying nice and long like a board here, and it should be really comfortable. You should be able to turn your head, no problem. And then check in to see if you're standing evenly on your feet. We also want to keep the pelvis, so like these front hip bones, nice and even. Take another inhale, and then soften and melt down, little by little. You will end up rolling through that flat back, that posterior pelvic tilt, and then draw yourself back into neutral. Make sure you're pulling up through the pelvic floor like a Kegel exercise, and let's do this again. We will exhale to flatten, put more pressure through the heels than the balls of the feet, but even pressure through the right and left sides of the body. Coming up until the weight is on the mid-back. And just hang out here. Hold here. Can you keep the collarbones nice and wide? Can you soften and melt through the throat? Can you relax the jaws? Can you let the eyes be heavy in their sockets and smooth the foreheads? And can you soften even the scalp on your head? Take another inhale and then start to drop down, keeping that softness and relaxation through the upper body, putting the work into the belly and the lower body. Good job. We're going to grab our bar and we're going to combine those two movements. It does not matter how far your bar goes. It does not matter how close the bar and the hips get. Just keep it with really good form and make it feel good. As you exhale, you're gonna to start to draw up into your bridge as you lower your bar down. And then with your inhale, reverse that, bringing everything back to the starting position, relaxing and releasing tension, but staying nice and tight through the tummy. So we exhale, the bar and the hips draw closer together. We inhale and let them separate. And let's just do a few more of these. Exhale together. Inhale apart. Nice, tiny, tiny waist. As you narrow the waist, drawing that belly button in, back of the neck stays long. And even if you're working hard, we're not drawing and putting pockets of tension back into the face, neck, and shoulders. We spent a lot of time releasing it. We want to keep it out. Relax down from here. Go ahead. Keep your bar up to the ceiling. We're going to just hold your bar as we bridge up. So we will exhale to peel up to bridge. Take your inhale here, and with the exhale, pull the bar straight down to the chest as the elbows go wide. So this isn't a ton of resistance, but we're just gonna add this upper body, a little bit of upper body work, keeping the upper body soft and organized as the legs, as we stand evenly on the legs and we keep that pelvis really still and steady and aligned. Exhale, pulling the bar down. Inhale, back up. Three more times. Keep 
join the belly in. Take another inhale and melt it down all the way and relax. Great job. From here, bring the arms back to your sides. Exhale, bridging up. And then I want you to take one heel and just lift it. But as you do that, take care that you don't shift or change the pelvis. Set the heel back down and switch. Set the heel back down and let's roll through the spine, softening back all the way down into neutral. We're going to come up and do that again, but please start on the opposite side first. So your opposite heel lifts, steady through the pelvis, roll through the foot and place it back down gently. Second side lifts, lower the heel down and melt it down. So if it was hard for you to stabilize the pelvis with those heel lifts, go ahead and repeat that. If it was easy for you, no big deal. We're going to add that, um, progress that into a march. So we will exhale up. You can either lift the heel or pick the leg up, maybe even to a 90 degree angle like a tabletop. Keep the pelvis nice and steady. Set the foot back down, roll the heel back down. Other side, heel lift. You can stay like that or pick the leg up, set it back down, melt through the heel, and roll it down. One more time, last exercise. Please start on the opposite side this time just to balance out the body. Heel lifts, you're welcome to bring that up into like a piston exercise or a march. Toes down, land quietly, keep it all super controlled. Check in with the upper body that you're keeping it relaxed. And then we'll melt down through the spine. From here, we're going to hug the knees into the chest. And just start to rock through the low back. Release it if you want to draw little circles through the spine. That can feel really good as well. Just breathe. You can keep the eyes closed. So if the knees are together like mine, go ahead and split them and pull them toward the shoulders. And if they were apart, then do the opposite. So you get both, both stretches. You can rock with it or draw circles from either posture. We're gonna take this and open it into a happy baby. So we're gonna come into a squat and you are welcome to grab insides, outsides of the balls or the heels. You can grab your ankles if you're not able to reach the feet. Whatever feels best to you is totally okay. Now pull those feet down and in and start to lengthen the low back into the mat. Relax the shoulders, and then once again, if you want to, you can start to rock this a little bit from side to side. Just release tension through the hips and the low back, the face. You can keep the pelvic floor lifted and the tummy scooped and hollowed. And then from here, we're going to take one leg and figure for it over your opposite thigh. Grab behind the thigh and hug in. So the leg that's bent in front, you want that knee moving away from you. You might even be able to take your elbow and kind of press it open. You're looking for a stretch over into that cheek or hip area. This gets into your external rotators. It gets into your piriformis muscle, which can often be a tight one for people. Sometimes this is a hard stretch, but a really important one to do. The ones we like the least, they're the ones that we need the most. From here, we're going to go ahead and switch, cross the other leg on top, hug it in, and close the eyes. Just breathe here. Again, it can be really helpful to send your breath, particularly the exhale, into the areas of restriction. Just try to get the body to relax. We have built-in mechanisms that prevent us from overstretching so we don't hurt ourselves. And the more we can calm the body down, use the breath to get the parasympathetic nervous system working, and the more we can tell the body this is okay, we're safe, we want to stretch a little further. And then we'll set the feet down from here. We're going to roll up using the stomach so we don't have a bar now. You can use the hands behind the thighs 
or to the side. If you need more assistance, you can start to stretch the legs out in front. Come up and lift tall. <sighs> okay, how do you feel? I hope you feel released. I feel longer, leaner, taller. Definitely had a lot of tension in my neck and shoulders. That feels a lot better. So I hope you feel as good as I do. Thank you so much for joining me for this relaxing roll down bar routine. If you would like notification of my future workouts, then please consider subscribing to my channel. If you click the little bell next to the subscribe button, you will get notifications when I create new workouts. I've been trying to post once or twice a week. I can't guarantee that'll happen, but that's my goal, um, at least for now. So there should be some new content coming out, new workouts for you. Thank you again for joining me today. I appreciate your support and I hope to see you again real soon.